Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior bar -L. and why am I facing the screen here? Well, I'm going to be doing a little bit of an early review for you guys um, for a game, and I was told I could do it, so I'm letting you guys know. Usually he tells me I can't till it comes out, so I'm going to just give you guys the review uh, and tell you guys exactly what's what. Uh, and tell you about it because he actually called me and told me I could do it if I want to. So we're going to just go right into here. As you can see, it says coming soon, but it is available for uh, in a lot of retailers uh, for them to be educated in the game. So we're going to talk about Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. Okay, so I got a chance to play all of that. Now I'm going to tell you guys something uh, right off the bat. First I'm going to show you... Oh, sorry. Oops. Ugh. First I'm going to show you the pictures here for those of you guys that don't have the Switch. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of differences here. This is an awesome game. Okay, don't get me wrong. Completely awesome. Loved it on, the, on my cell phone. Absolutely stunning game. I think this game is amazing. $7.99? I don't know about it, but let's just look through all of them. This, this is part two. So right here, we're going on part two. So this game will freak you out. Okay? <laughs> so this is three right here. We're just going to go over all of them. And we're going to talk about every little thing and what I think they made a mistake on, what I think they didn't make a mistake on. Again, I played the reviewed copy, so I don't know if this is going to change by any chance or anything like that. But first off, right off the bat, like I told you before, if you have this for the cell phone and you have it already or whatever, do not get this game under any freaking circumstances whatsoever. Do not buy this game because it is the same thing and you're going to be paying a lot of money. I mean, $7.99, that's 8, right? Times times 4. So, I mean, go ahead and figure that out. $32 for all these games. I don't know why they can't put this in a bundle pack or something like that. It's just so freaking weird. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. But um, the game runs well. It runs very well. Uh, it does look dumbed down in color. Oh, God. There you go. It does look extremely dumbed down in color. I'm not even going to lie to you. It even looks better, actually, in the thing right here. So, for example, you're looking at this, the way it looks here. Uh, it kind of looks dated. You could look at it. Uh, it looks good on through the camera, so I don't know if you could see it. But if you, those of you guys that have a Nintendo Switch, go ahead and look at it. This looks pretty much like it is. Uh, they don't. They try not to lie, but sometimes they make things like this one appears a little too clean. The thing in the in the ground right here is more like how the whole game looks. It looks extremely pixelated. It looks horrible uh on the on the switch but now when you're playing it in, in a small screen that's where it shines it's like how when you're playing it on the cell phone it looks good because it's a tiny screen but you blow it up on a 4k or even an hd monitor as i played it on and i played it on the 4k it looks like absolute poop i can't describe how bad this looks uh so so it played on portable that's fine if you never played it before Seven ninety nine. I don't know. It's a little steep, but it is a good game. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying steep. Uh, for me, I think it is. I don't know because it's a port from a cell phone game. Uh, I think they should have. Okay, it's thirty two dollars. Come out with a package, all of it for like twenty five or thirty. I would say I would go go and get this. Uh, to be honest, I would grab this at fifteen dollars or twenty dollars at most. Twenty bucks, I would say definitely. Uh, not that I don't like the game. The game is really good, uh, but. Most of us already played it on our cell phones, if you know what I mean. So, I don't know if I would really go and spend, uh, shell out the money. Give me one second. So, that's what that's what I got to say about that. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you guys, but I got a chance to play it. It does play very fluent, but it just kind of gives me a headache when you're playing it on a big screen. Because it looks so damn pixelated. It's like playing PlayStation 1. A play and not even a PlayStation 2 game. I'm really telling you this. It's like playing a PlayStation 1 game on a 4K monitor. That's the, that's the experience you get. It just 
looks horrible. I can't, I can't tell you on a big screen. But if you guys are actually playing it on a small screen, you guys will absolutely love it. I don't see anything wrong with it. Here it actually looks good because you notice how smart they were. They put like a blur effect, like a motion blur here. So they caught it in a motion. It actually looks good. If they could actually make the whole game look like that, I would be stunned. But instead, it looks really pixelated. You can see there with all of these filters they're throwing on it, it kind of covers it a little. But guys, when you're playing it on big screen, you're literally going to have a headache. Uh, that I had motion sickness from this game, like really, and I didn't have that on my cell phone or anything like that. Even part four, uh, you would think, uh, you know, with updated graphics and stuff, it just does not look how dated this looks. It looks incredibly dated, uh, but it's it's a great game. It's a scary game. Uh, for me, it isn't anymore because I know pretty much this entire game by art. But uh, it's it's not something I would invest unless it's 20 bucks or something like that i would do it again uh now to be honest i i don't know you know i'm hoping i'm getting the oculus rift uh not rift uh oculus uh quest very soon and i'm really hoping they come out with a game like this but with better graphics and you know that they came uh, come out with part five and it has amazing graphics and it comes out for virtual reality this game was designed for virtual reality it was not designed to be played uh you know it was not designed to be played, you know, regular, uh, you know, on a on a big screen TV. It was designed to be played on VR. Uh, and I know, you know, Nintendo Switch has their VR or whatever, uh, but it's not. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I, I, I the game looks so horrible, uh, you know, on big screen to have it multiply in 360. Uh, the resolution that's already crappy would look absolutely horrible. But I would hope that they would release it on VR for the Oculus. That would be stunning. But uh, unfortunately, that's not, you know, that's not uh, said right here. This software supports the following features uh, to install. Purchase. See, I don't see anything about VR here um, for their VR. But uh, sports TV modes. Two players and uh, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't show anything like that. But... Um, I don't know. I got a chance to play it, guys. That's all I got to say about that. So I, I just wanted to give you guys a quick shout out just to let you guys know exactly what's what. Um, I personally do not. If you have this on the on the cell phone, uh, you know, on your on your phone or whatever, I don't recommend you buy this at all. Uh, I think you'll have a better experience playing it on your phone because let's say you're playing it on your Samsung uh, phone, you could get the Samsung VR. And yes, it, it has the screen door effect on it in the Samsung VR, but you'll get used to it and you're going to have a good you know, kick butt of a, of a time. I'm thinking on that, on that thing compared to getting it on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, Nintendo, uh, I would think if you market this at $5 each, $20 for all four parts in a bundle, that would be pretty cool. Give it. You should have gave it out free with your system. I don't. I don't know. No, actually, you can't because it's not a first party game. But uh, twenty bucks. I think even people with a cell phone would uh, actually steal this game in a heartbeat. But anything more than that, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I would pay thirty two dollars, knowing there's awesome games coming out soon, uh, especially Doom sixty four and stuff like that. Uh, Doom, you know. So I, I'm hoping it's going to re be released in the 31st. I'm definitely going to get it as you guys requested. So definitely tune in when this baby comes in on the 31st. I will do a full on review for you guys. And again, like I said before, didn't get any requests for this. I guess because everybody played the hell out of it, like I did. But if you guys request me to buy this game, let me know on, uh, you know, in the uh, Instagram and everything, and uh, also on uh, the private chats or whatever, any anywhere. Let me know, and if it has enough. Uh, you know, uh, request, I will do a full on review on this as well. So anyways, guys, this is a self funded channel. As always, uh, I have three jobs. I give back to the community and you guys also have your own jobs and you're giving back to the community by commenting down below, whether you agree or disagree. Uh, it, you know, I definitely want the public to have the real information and say, you know, because I have to sift through so much of this paid for garbage by other reviewers who are getting paid to tell you lies and all this other crap. Uh, and, uh, I really would like to hear what you guys think. Are you going to pick this up do you think 32 dollars is a fair price to pay for all four uh if you had it on your cell phone do you think you're going to jump to this let me know i definitely want to know uh how uh, if you guys are gonna um uh you know get this game and pick it up i'm definitely curious to know about that uh, i myself will not pick this up i got a chance to play it i think it plays beautifully don't get me wrong uh it just looks extremely dated it was not meant to be played on a big screen at all it was meant to be played on the portable device uh on your cell phone or on 
your Switch portable. The second you play it on HD, you guys will absolutely hate it. If you play it on 4K, you're absolutely going to hate it. I'm letting you guys know right now, it is a blurry freaking mess. It looks extremely pixelated and disgusting like poop. Uh, well, you know, If you're into the story, you'll probably get past it. I, I don't know. The thing is, uh, I just don't see it as a $32 game, and it looks like something that was brought on a PlayStation 1 and uh, ported, uh, you know, was to the Nintendo Switch, just a direct port. You know, like, uh, you know, other games that were ported from the PlayStation 1 uh, directly to, uh, you know, the the Nintendo Switch or PlayStation Vita even when they used to port it. So it looks exactly, exactly the same like a PlayStation 1 game. So I don't know if I'd pay $32 for that knowing there's other games that are coming out. Anyways, let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell button as many more reviews to come. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.